Hello everybody, my name is Sasha Novak. Welcome to my channel. Today is April 20th and today I decided to start my first scrapbooking vlog. I will try to do those on a monthly basis where I will be showing the projects I'm currently working on, a little bit of my work process, maybe some hauls and uh, things along those lines. So if you are interested, please subscribe and click the bell button so you don't miss any of my videos when they come out. Also, if you like this video, please support me by leaving a comment or liking it. I appreciate any kind of support since I am just trying to grow my channel. Anyway, today I wanted to show you two shaker cards that I made this month for Frank Garcia Studio. The two cards, uh, I call them sister cards because they are very similar. I made them using a few of Frank's collections. Majority of it is magic love and love notes. But there are some flowers and shaker elements that came from Luna and Strawberry Milkshake collections. Um, so in the back here, um, you see my logo and this circle element I made using just two dies and I love how it turned out. It's so simple but I've never made it before so that's why I'm excited about it. Maybe if this video isn't um, too long I will show you how I've done it at the end. And uh, when you open up the card, of course, on the top part, you can see the elements um, through the plastic. And I usually cover those up with ephemera pieces later so that everything looks beautiful. And at the bottom, I made a pocket where you can insert a piece of paper. Um, or place a gift card that way you don't have to write on the scrapbook paper because it can't be seen through the shaker when the card is closed that is it for my cards next i wanted to talk a little bit about the next project i will be working on um, i will be making a mini album using one of the memory hardware albums from frank garcia the this particular one that I chose is called Folio Slim and um, let me just show you how it looks like inside. When you open it up there is lots of space for photos and um, I think it should be very easy to decorate it. Um, I already started preparing the materials I will be using for this album and I like to gather all of the things that go well together with the paper collection that I choose to work with and I set them um, in one spot so that I can see it all. On my left hand side there is a white tray organizer. Uh, I think I bought this one at Target and this is where I will store most of the things I'm working on um, for a project. This also keeps my table somewhat organized because usually when I work there's a lot of mess around and I think most of the scrappers can relate to that. So I chose to work with Frank's Peach Tea collection. This collection was released last winter so I think most of you have already seen it but in case you haven't I'm just gonna quickly show it um, here as well. Um, Peach Tea is one of my favorite collections by Frank. Uh, I love the color combination and all the patterns and designs are just beautiful. Um, what I have here is 12 by 12 and 8 by 8 pads. And of course, these pads are not full because I've been using them for more than a year now. But I think what I have here should be more than enough to make my mini album. Over here in my white tray I already gathered a little bit of materials and I will be adding even more to this as well. It might seem that um, it's too much for a mini album but I won't be using all of it. I just like to have a lot of options in front of me when I start um, decorating. Uh, over here on the top left compartment I have uh, lace trims. Most of my lace trims I buy on Ali, but some come from 
craft stores like Joanne or Hobby Lobby. At the bottom here, I pulled out um, the ephemera from Peach Tea Collection and I've separated them. On the left, there's just regular bits and pieces and on the right side, there are flower elements and I also will be adding more uh, to this as well. On the top here, I have uh, two chipboard frames. Uh, those particular ones came from a Polish brand called Mente. And uh, I will be adding more of the chipboard elements to this as well. I also will be using embossing powder to um, decorate the chipboard elements. Um, next, I pulled out a few charm elements. Those peaches came from the Peach Tea Collection as well. And they absolutely stole my heart. Uh, I also have a few more charm elements uh, that I might not be using, but again, I like to have those in front of me just in case. Um, on the top here, I have two um, resin frames that I made using the epoxy resin and Prima molds. I don't remember what collection the molds came from. I think um, they were one of the Frank's collection and not the Finnabar ones. Um, and there are also a few uh, smaller elements as well. So that is all that I have in my tray so far. Um, now let me show you what else I will be adding to it. So um, I pulled out some more uh, chipboard elements. And what I have here is um, uh, two Prima um, packs and uh, two that came from the brand called Scrapaholics. Um, I will be covering those chipboards with the embossing powder as well. The one that I pulled out before. and um, But before I cover it with the embossing powder, I will be painting those with the white acrylic paint to cover up the color of the chipboard itself. Um, next, I have some chipboard stickers from the Peach Tea Collection and uh, I already pulled out a bunch of flower packs. The flower packs came from different collections, not just Peach Tea, and I do that to match the flowers with the color scheme of the collection. And I also have here some puffy stickers and lots of sage and crystals as well, um, just in case. So I'm just going to quickly go through these packs and pull out the flowers that will go well with my color scheme. star palette that I also got at Target and um, it is filled with a mix of sequins that I will use and I will use those at the very end. Um, these will go on top of my compositions as toppings and um, this is a super nice way to brighten up your work and literally make it shine. And uh, lastly, uh, I have made some flowers and leaves elements uh, that are made from uh, vellum paper using stamps and embossing powder and uh, I actually want to make more of those and I do have some time to show you how I do it. This process is very simple so I'm just going um, to speed it up a little bit for you.
again my last video got suddenly interrupted um it's april 22nd now and i made some progress over the past two days so i finished making my vellum elements and i fussy cut those so they are ready to be added to the layers um i made lots of leaves and flowers and i also made a few of these larger flowery elements that i usually cut apart and um, add those to the composition i also prepped my chipboard elements uh, like i was saying before i painted all the elements with white acrylic paint first and then i added embossing powder on the top the leaves are covered with this shabby green color by Stampendos and um, I love this color so much it just adds a nice texture to the leaves and it has a great shabby look. Um, the gate by Prima Marketing and the frames are also covered with the embossing uh, this one is cream color and it's called Aged Ivory by Stampendos as well. So that is it for my decor elements. I don't think I will be adding any more to this tray. Um, over here I have um, a few of the paper pieces that I've already cut out for the outside cover of the album. I chose two prints for this album. The one light beige one with the musical notes and pink polka dot one i already started putting border stitching to um, on these uh, pieces and i'm just gonna finish those up and come back all right my um, pieces are all border stitch now i'm just going to quickly pull out and trim the threads and adhere the pieces to the album
Um, it's April 24th and I am continuing to work on my Folio Slim album here. So I added this peachy flowery patterned paper on the inside walls of the album. I also placed my chipboard gate on the left side here and made it a pocket. I will also um, decorate it later. Right now I will be working on decorating this middle part. I'm not sure how to properly call these flaps where the photos should go to, but you know what I'm talking about, right? So I am planning to make a rich composition on the front of this first flap. So um, you won't be able to place a photo there, but the rest of the flaps I um, plan to decorate with just plain scrapbook paper. So there should still be lots of um, place for placing your photos. I usually plan my compositions in such a way so that they don't conflict with each other when you close the album. Um, of course, if you prefer flatter compositions, you don't have to worry about them conflicting with each other. But I usually um, create uh, compositions with lots of details, lots of volume, so that is why I have to worry about that part. Um, so I'm just going to continue working on my composition here. I won't be talking over each step because uh, my daughter is sleeping just a few feet away from my desk and um, I don't want to wake her up. Um, I'll be recording the process while she's sleeping and if I don't finish it before she wakes up, I'll show you the result. Okay, so um, just like I thought, she woke up before I was able to finish and show you the end result. But as promised, here it is. There um, is still a couple of things that are left to finish. I'm still going to be placing toppings and um, white acrylic paint drops on it. I also finished um, placing scrapbook paper on the rest of the flaps. And um, uh, I just wanted to show you that... Even with 
the thick composition that I have here, the album is closing very well. And even if I place uh, another um, thick composition here on this gate, the album should still um, close very well. So I will work on this bottom part later tonight and I will also show you how it looks like at the end. Uh, right now I just wanted to show you a couple things that I bought uh, this week. Um, so I went to Marshalls and I found uh, these um, a clear acrylic trays and I thought those will be wonderful for placing the ephemera pieces while I'm working. Um, just because the area is larger and uh, you can actually see more um, pieces. I also found this gorgeous um, frame and the moment I saw it, I thought how wonderful it would be to alter it. So maybe um, I will turn it into my next project. It is April 30th and this will be my last vlog entry for this month. Uh, the inside of my album is completed except for a few things. Um, let's just take a quick look at my finished compositions here. So um, I still need to add my toppings and some splashes of white acrylic paint to it. But um, I will do that step at the very end once my cover is uh, completed as well that way i don't have to come back to it multiple times during the process um i also made this cute tag and uh, i tuck it inside my pocket here there's also a card from the journaling cards pad you can place a larger photo like um three and a half by five would work best with this tag or you can place multiple photos here or even leave it for journaling. Add and decorate it so there are some options. And um, as you can see, there um, the album is still closing nicely um, after I added the bottom composition. And um, I think even when you place the photos, it will still work well. Um, with that, I will end this vlog for this month. I am planning to record a tutorial on the cover and I will upload it um, here in a few days after this vlog comes out. So check back in if you are interested in seeing the process. Thank you very much for watching. Again, if you liked seeing more videos like that from me, please leave a like or a comment. It's a great motivation for me to keep doing these videos. Thank you and have a wonderful day.